guys, I know you're probably tired of seeing this little disclaimer in the beginning of the video, but I do still have an open giveaway for a copy of First Aid for the USMLE up on my channel. It's open until July 11th, so if you guys are medical students or you're incoming med students, I would recommend going to this video, which I will link above. It's my how to budget for medical school video, and it has the instructions on how to apply for the giveaway. So if you get your answer in before July 11th, you could be entered to win the copy of First Aid for the USMLE. So I hope you guys are able to enter and maybe I can do more giveaways in the future. Please only enter if you're in the United States. It's a US only giveaway, but I'm definitely going to be looking into doing other giveaways in the future that potentially could include international students. So, okay, with that out of the way, we can get into the actual video for today. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Ariella, and I usually make videos about medical school. Sometimes I like to make videos about my favorite activewear brand, Lululemon, because I know a lot of people like to look online to see how things fit other people and if things are worth the price. So I like to provide as much information on Lululemon as I possibly can. Sorry if you can hear the dishwasher downstairs. I wanted to post an extra video this week because recently I had been getting comments on some of my hauls saying, oh, have you tried this item of clothing that I actually already own, but it wasn't in that haul because I didn't pick up that particular item. So I wanted to share with you guys my favorite items from Lululemon, so that way you can come back to this video and always know which ones that I tend to gravitate towards. So I've got a huge pile of all my favorite things right here, and I'm going to go through them, talk about the materials and how they fit, and I'll also do a try on portion so that way you don't have to search through the rest of my channel in order to find the different try ons for these. Without further ado, let's start on my Lululemon favorites. All right, so we're gonna start with bottoms because I think that's probably the most popular things from Lululemon. So I'm just gonna pick right off the top of the pile here. These are the Tracker Shorts 5 in the 4 inch inseam, and these are my absolute favorite short from Lululemon of all time. I would say, and I do have the Hottie Hots coming up next, if the Hottie Hot High Rise 4 inch shorts were regularly available, they would definitely be my favorites, but because they kind of come onto the website sporadically and they sell out really fast, I'm still going to list the Tracker Shorts as my favorites. So I definitely have larger muscular thighs and so the tracker shorts are designed for that. They're designed as running shorts for people with more athletic builds. So they have tons of room in the legs. They're made out of a Luxstream fabric and it is a four-way stretch fabric. If you get the tracker short four, which is the previous version, that's only a two-way stretch. So these are the tracker shorts. They have a drawstring waist as most of Lululemon shorts does. They have a side pocket which easily fits a normal sized iPhone, so that's one of the things that I like about them. And then they have some interesting stitching on the back. I find these really flattering and I have probably at least five different colors of these, if not more. Yeah, these are a great all around short. They are a little bit more low rise than some other Lululemon shorts. So if you don't like shorts that are low rise, I probably wouldn't recommend these. If you're looking for something to go with like crop tops, these are probably not the ones for you. So speaking of the Hottie Hot high rise four inch short, these are, I would say my favorite bit of a Lululemon short, but like I said, because they're not regularly available, I can't really list them as my favorites. They're just so difficult to get your hands on, but this is the only pair that I have. They're in this prism pink. They have a nice, like big elastic flat waistband on the high waist part that flattens out your stomach, which is very nice. Again, drawstring waistband. They do have a small pocket on the side, but I have yet to be able to fit my phone in this pocket. It's quite small, so I don't think you'd be able to fit a normal sized iPhone in there. There's also a small, tiny little key pocket in the back, so maybe that's where they make up for the extra space on the side pocket, but I would much prefer to have a larger side pocket personally because then I could fit my phone in there on a run. They have a really nice mesh paneling on the side that's going to help keep you cool. And both of these shorts do have an internal liner, so if that's not something you're looking for, I would skip these or cut them out. And yeah, these are the only color that I have. I think I said prism pink. I would love to get more of these, but they're just so hard to find. 
So on the topic of shorts, these have become my favorite bike short and I don't even wear them for biking or running. I actually wear them for hiking when it's really hot outside. So these are the fast and free high rise six inch short and they're essentially the exact same as the fast and free leggings but they just cut them off at the six inch mark. So they have the fast and free pockets on the sides and they are made of the, I think this is Nulux material. So it's very slick and it feels like it's going to be very athletic and high performance. In addition to the leg side pockets, you also have these little side pouches on the waistband and then a back pocket, which is pretty functional. The only difference between these and the Fast and Free leggings is that on the Fast and Free leggings, they have a seamless cuff at the bottom. It kind of just ends. And these actually do have a seam, like a proper end seam. I think the seam on the bottom helps prevent the leggings from riding up, but they do still ride up on my legs just a little bit. I have one of these in a size six and one of them in a size eight, and I do actually prefer the size eight. So I'm gonna keep the size six on hand because they kind of fit very similarly, but these I prefer. All right, so next up are pants, and two out of three of these pants I think are gonna be very predictable. If you are familiar with Lululemon, these are some of their most popular styles, and I definitely get the hype. So these are the Align leggings. These are in the color Lunar Rock, and these are gonna be those classic buttery soft Lululemon leggings. They're made out of the Nulu material, which is quite soft. As you probably know, with the Nulu material, it's going to be a lot more delicate than other athletic fabrics. So this will pill, especially for me in the thigh region and sometimes around the waistband, I get a little bit of pilling. I don't have a huge issue with it like some people do. And I think that's because I have a lot of pairs of them. So I tend to cycle out different ones and I'm not wearing the same pair of leggings all the time. But I do notice that I get the worst pilling on my black leggings, which would be the ones that I wear most often. And you probably know what the Align legging is like at this point, but it has a pocket right in the front that you could potentially slip like some cards or keys into if you needed to. They do have an extended crotch gusset that runs all the way down the leg, but these are just one of the most comfortable Lululemon leggings out there. If you're going to invest your money in a pair of Lululemon leggings and you really want to strive for comfort, I would recommend these. But you know that if you aren't taking care of them properly, they will degrade a little bit faster faster than expected, and in general they are always going to pill because they're made of such a nice soft fabric. Next up are the Wonder Unders, and also some of these I got when I was in Rhode Island, if you saw in a previous vlog, so I just picked out the versions of the leggings that are my favorites that I got so that I could do a try on for them because I didn't end up trying them on in my Rhode Island vlog. So these are the Wonder Unders. If the Aligns aren't Lululemon's most popular legging, these definitely are. These are the full on Luxstream version and these are the only version that I buy. I'm not a huge fan of Luon and I think I have one pair of Luon and one pair of the normal Luxstream, not full on Luxstream. I just like these because they're a much more athletic feeling fabric. They dry insanely fast and so these are what I wear when I'm able to train in the gym. And I have these in so many colors but I definitely wear my black ones the most I felt like this was kind of also a neutral you can find these patterned ones on sale either in store or on the we made too much section of lululemon by the way little lululemon hack if you are looking for the we made too much section to update that happens usually every Thursday and then if you're looking for the new arrival section of lululemon to update that happens every Tuesday although I tend to check the website pretty often because sometimes the new arrivals update on Monday instead or on Wednesday and then sometimes the we made too much updates early or late so it just kind of depends and I think right now a lot of people are shopping online so their website is not following its normal timing exactly but that's generally when they decide to update their website so I would say the wonder unders are probably my most worn lululemon legging I wear these the most often to school or just lounging or when I'm doing activities in the gym. I think these are probably what's on my body the most often. And then next up is the Pace Rival Crop. I wish they made these in a full length pant so badly. I love them so much. But these are what I wear basically exclusively when I'm running. So the Pace Rival Crop is made out of a Luxstream material. 
It's got a hidden waistband pocket on the back, and it's also got a hidden waistband pocket on each of the front sides. And then it even has pockets on the side of the leg, which is the one that I tend to use most often because it fits my phone. These are the high-waisted version, but they do come in a non-high-waisted version. And this is the Formation Camo Coal Deep Multicolor that everybody loves. They do also have some mesh paneling on the back of the leg, which helps keep you cool. I think this is supposed to hit right behind your knee area, but because I'm a little bit shorter, these crops tend to put the mesh more on like my calf, which is fine, I don't mind it. These are a great legging for running, and I don't have a ton of them because I honestly don't do a ton of running, but they're very versatile. I just don't tend to wear them for lounging. I don't tend to wear anything that has a waistband seam or like an elastic waistband for lounging because I don't like how it digs in, but that's definitely necessary for running or like any activity where the waistband might be slipping down. Okay, really quickly, they're currently in the wash, but I'm gonna insert some photos of me in them. And it's kind of like an honorable mention because I just recently discovered how much I love these leggings are the Wonder Train leggings. So these are made out of an Everlux material, which is Lululemon's like halfway align, halfway performance material. So they're supposed to be buttery soft like the aligns, but they're going to last a little bit longer and be better for high performance activities. So in my opinion, they they definitely aren't as buttery soft. They feel a little bit on like the cottony kind of spandex side and I'm not really sure if I would call them a high performance align pant. I think they kind of live in their own realm. And I wasn't a huge fan of the fit when I got my first pair of Wonder Trains. I thought they were a little bit on the tight side and the waistband was a little bit tight for me. I even considered returning them and sizing up. But recently I wore them on a hike and I am like full on a Wonder Train supporter now because I get it. So I think my mistake was I was trying to wear them for lounging like I would an Align pant and that just wasn't really working for me. But as soon as I took them on the hike, I was so glad that I had them in the tighter fit and that they had that adjustable waistband. That adjustable waistband, even if I don't tie it, tends to be a little bit tighter on my waist and that helps keep them up on long heights. And then they were also just a really durable fabric. So I was passing by like branches and leaves and I was scraping myself on rocks during the hike and they held up amazingly. They didn't tear, they didn't pill. It was fantastic. So I'm definitely a Wonder Train convert. I'm a huge fan of those and I think that they're gonna be good for those high intensity activities. And for me, hiking is one of the things that I do that I love to wear them in. Speaking of other hiking pants, I also am including the Dance Studio Joggers on my favorites. They're great for hiking because they're loose and lightweight and they're going to be super comfortable and protect you from bugs, but also I just love these for lounging around. They're not a tight jogger, especially if, if you're between sizes and you size up. They're going to be a looser, more comfortable fit, kind of baggy, and I'm a big fan of just how these look in general. So. I've gone through the details on these before, but they've got tons of pockets. They've got pockets on the sides, and then within the side pocket on the left side, there's an even smaller pocket that you could maybe slip a key into. No waistband pockets on this one, but it does have an adjustable like drawstring here, and then the cuffs on the bottom. So this is just like a classic, very plain pair of joggers, but I really like them because I'm not a big fan of super cottony joggers. I feel like I just get too hot in those. Great versatile pair of joggers and these are basically the only pair of joggers that I found so far from Lululemon that I actually enjoy the fit of on me. Okay, so moving on to tops. I have a lot fewer tops than I have pants and I think that just kind of reflects the fact that I am more willing to spend a lot of money on bottoms from Lululemon than I am on tops. I feel like the tops aren't a huge difference in quality from something like Marshalls or like American Eagle athletic wear or something like that but I do have a couple things that I like to splurge on so the first of these is going to be the swiftly relaxed top and I've talked about these a lot on my channel already I think but I just want to like lay out why I think these are the best tops so I am NOT a huge fan of the swiftly tech shirts at all I don't like the way they basically compress you and fit you extremely tight 
And with the short sleeve version, their sleeves kind of are more like a quarter sleeve than a true, not a quarter sleeve, what's the word? They're like a cap sleeve rather than a actual short sleeve. And so the fabric tends to bunch up under my arms. And that is one of my pet peeves with clothing. I really, I just, I take the shirt off. If that happens, I can't wear it. It drives me insane. So the swiftly relaxed shirts, both the short sleeve and the long sleeve, don't have that problem for me, which already makes them better than the Swiftly Tech. Additionally, these are a shorter cut, so they're not gonna be quite as short as the race length Swiftly Techs are, but they are definitely shorter than the normal Swiftly Tech shirts, which basically can go all the way down, like halfway past my thighs, which is kind of insane. I think it's designed that way for people who have really long torsos so that you can get them hemmed, but I just prefer to have a shirt that already fits. And additionally, this is a little bit looser and a much more comfortable fit for me. And I'll show you the details here. I was really impressed with like the placement of the perforations. They keep you nice and cool. And then they also have the little Lululemon like U thing on the front. And the bottom of this shirt has a thicker uh, band than the Swiftly Tech, the normal ones, which I prefer on this shirt. So I love these in the long sleeve and short sleeve version. I have a couple of each and I'm a big fan of them. All right, so the other Swiftly Tech item that I have is the Swiftly Tech tank in the race length. So I don't have the same problem with the arms on the tank that I do with the Swiftly Tech shirts. The shirts are quite tight on my arms and like I said, they bunch up, but because this is a tank top, I don't have that issue. And these Swiftly Tech tanks are just incredibly lightweight and breathable. They again have those nice perforation details, so they're gonna keep you cool. And the race length happens to be the perfect length to fit where most of my leggings cut off on my stomach. So I find that this is a really flattering fit and it's not going to bunch up when you're running or doing any activities like the normal Swiftly Tech tank is. So in terms of the normal Swiftly Tech, this is the only item that I will buy. I do have a couple Swiftly Tech long sleeves that are super long, and that is because I like to tuck them into my pants as an underlayer when I go skiing. But other than that, I don't really wear the Swiftly Tech normal shirts at all. I'm gonna quickly talk about my favorite sports bra. So all of my sports bras that I like are in Luxstream, and my favorite one is the Energy Sports Bra. So this is the high neck version, but I have the normal version, I have the long line version, and basically the Energy Bra is just my favorite of all of Lululemon's active bras. They have this double strap detail in the back. I find them I would say a medium support bra for a B to C cup. If you have a larger chest, you might wanna look into the high neck option. It might give you a little bit more support or look at some of Lululemon's higher support bras. But this is definitely going to be a medium support. These are great sports bras all around. I don't find that I have any issues with them and they're the most comfortable out of the ones that I've tried. I haven't tried any of Lululemon's lounging bras really, so I would need to try those before I could say that this is my favorite sports bra. But of the ones that I own, mostly being energy and free to be, I like the energy the most. The last item that is one of my, well, it is my absolute favorite item from Lululemon. This is the perfectly oversized crew. And I don't know why I thought I wouldn't like this. I didn't order it for a long time because it's a very expensive sweatshirt and that's basically all it is. But I wear all my sweatshirts extremely oversized. So even in this, that's supposed to be perfectly oversized in your normal size, I sized up two sizes for this and I think that is my perfect fit. So if you are like me and you like to have your sweatshirts huge, I would consider sizing up or even sizing up two sizes. But if you prefer to just have a looser but still well fitted sweatshirt, maybe go for your normal size. But this is made out of the cotton terry fabric. It's not fuzzy on the inside, which I find I've been gravitating towards in terms of sweatshirts recently because the ones that are fuzzy tend to pill on the inside and just break down a lot faster than the ones that don't. So I'm a big fan of the cotton terry fabric. 
and I also really like that the logo on this sweatshirt is in the corner and rather than being the like little Omega sign, it's printed Lululemon. I don't know, I just think that's a nice detail. There's not much else to say about this. It's just a huge sweatshirt. So I'm disappointed that I spent a lot of money on this, but I'm not surprised that I love it because I know myself. All right guys, so that's my entire Lululemon Favorites collection. If you have anything that you think I would really like and I need to try, let me know down below. I'm always looking for excuses to spend more money. And if you have a favorite that's the same as mine, let me know what that is down below. And yeah, like I said, this is gonna be an extra video this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe down below and like this video if you enjoy my Lululemon content. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.